in this section we will start looking into each of the branching strategies that are that can be implemented in your team before we get into the complex branching strategies uh, we will look into what uh, i call it as uh, you know, the bare minimum branching that you need to implement irrespective of your team size the location and how many developers in this section we will start looking into each of the branching strategies that are that can be implemented in your team before we get into the complex branching strategies uh, we will look into what uh, i call it as uh, you know, the bare minimum branching that you need to implement irrespective of your team size the location and how many developers so this is the, the the minimum strategy that you need to apply to ensure the code quality and the code changes are being reviewed and tracked so in any by default when we create a repository a git repository uh, you will create uh, we will have uh, the main branch as the default branch now from the main branch you you could you we create a new two set of new branches the qa and the develop so the qa branch is taken out of the main branch and the develop is taken based on the qa branch so the idea behind this uh, is any code changes that you're doing or your team is doing uh, should be uh, committed and pushed to the develop branch which can then be reviewed and uh, tested your regression testing your uh, unit testing everything is done across the code changes in from uh, the develop branch into the uh, in the develop branch and once you have the basic uh, sign off or a basic code quality ensured you push you you migrate the code from develop to qa and then then qa to main so even if you don't have any even if you have two developers or if you don't have any uh, branching strategies the minimum strategy that you have to apply is to have a main branch which is your default from where the production deployment happens and then have a qa and develop where you can control the code changes getting into the develop do a regression and functional testing in the QA and finally deploy into production from the main branch. We will now look into uh, get into hands on with how do we create this bare minimum branching and enable the, the security for the branches. So as you can see here, I'm back on my that get the branching demo repository and if i go back to the branches uh, let me quickly clear off this so that i could yeah so now i have the main branch and now from here i would first create a qa branch which is based out of main and then i'll go ahead and create a new branch called develop and this is from the qa branch so with this, with this uh, three branches created, now the developer can go ahead and clone the develop branch, do the code changes before uh, merging the code into QA and then the develop branch. Let's look into how a developer could pick up this repository and uh, do the uh, push the code before merging the code to main and in, into QA. But before that, let's configure uh, the direct commits into the develop, uh, into the main and the QA branch in the repository. So to do this, we go to project settings and then go to uh, repositories, get branching, which is where I'm doing my code changes, and then I go into policies. So here I can, I want to ensure the code commits to the QA and the, my, and the main branch are always via pull request. So for that, I go into QA and then I enable minimum reviewers required is one. 
which means that at least one at least one developer or one leader or, or one of the team members should approve the code before it can be merged <coughs> i'm selecting this option to ensure i can approve my own request and then merge the code but in a typical scenario this option will always should always be unchecked now similarly i can go into main and then i enable one one minimum reviewers and then allow myself to approve now what we have basically done uh, is ensure no developer can commit to the code to the QA and the main branch, but they can only raise a pull request which can be approved and merged. So now let's look at the how a, a developer would typically uh, work in an environment where the very minimum strategy has been implemented. So for this, I go back to the repository and first step is I go ahead and clone the repository. So here I have a empty folder. So let me open up a time of prompt and say I'll say git clone and paste my URL. So once done, you will notice there is a default folder with uh, the main file which is available. So if I open the main.cs file, <coughs> you will notice that it is coming from the main branch and I don't have uh, much changes. So if I go, if I do a git status, it shows, uh, so sorry, let me go into this folder. I'll say git status. It says you're up to date with the origin main. But as we know, uh, we cannot do a direct commit into uh, the main branch. So let me do a checkout into uh, develop branch. So now I'm in the develop branch. So let me do a change. It's a local change by chai into develop branch. I'm going to save and come back here i'll say git add and here i'm basically adding all the changes that i've done into the stage area and then i'll do a git commit to changes from chai and finally i can do a git push and i can do push because i'm in the develop branch which allows a direct push so now if i go back to the branches the developer has committed the code into the develop branch and the local change by chai is available here. But if I go into QA, you will not see the change because it is not at most. Now, as a developer, uh, uh, I ensure my code changes which are in, which are in the uh, develop branch are tested and validated. Once I have that, I'll go here and create a pull request from develop into QA. So here I'm going uh, specify that the description, the changes I've done, and I go ahead and create. So it says one reviewer to approve. I go ahead and approve and complete. And in a, in a real world project, you may not be able to do this uh, because you, we typically need uh, extra another developer to commit, approve the code, not yourself. So once this is done, uh, my code changes are now available in the QA branch. If I go to main.cs, I can see the change in the QA branch, but I cannot see the same in the main. So I have to merge the code from uh, QA into main. And it shows the changes that I have done. The local change is available. Now I go ahead and complete the merge from QA to the develop. So, so once merging is done, all the files are now up to date with the same code changes that I had done. So this is the uh, bare minimum branching strategy that you will have to enable and 
and your developers to manage it here to ensure the code that is being developed is reviewed and tested before it goes into production.